May 20th. It was May 20th, 2013. I saw it on TV, and I work way Northwest Expressway in Council. It's about 22 miles away from where we lived. Once it passed, I started driving, and all I could hear on the radio was kids were trapped at Plaza Towers, and that's where he went to school. As I got further, closer, and I heard that it was out in the second and third grade building, which was his building, it just it terrified me. My husband was able to text through to me. He uh, had picked Zach up two minutes before the tornado hit, so he got in the truck and went 80 miles an hour around the curb and got in the storm shelter. And right as he shut the door, the storm, shel the storm shelter door, it, the tornado hit. He attends Plaza Towers. And when the tornado came, he lost his house, and so they had to find elsewhere to live for a while. Um, he was already enrolled in our summer camp, but they, after that, had problems financially, of course, like anybody would. So we told them about our disaster relief program, um, so we decided to give them their full summer free. Um, and that really helped them financially while they were trying to figure out their whole life again. Um, it just helped to have him around other kids where he could come and just be a child again. You know, after the tornado, he didn't get to go to school anymore because they were just canceled. So it was him around kids, and then all of a sudden he wasn't around kids anymore at all. Um, but when he, uh, it was about a week later, the Y started, um, the summer camp, and I think that helped a lot, kind of put a little bit of normalcy back in his life. And he knew some of these friends here at the Y. And he, um, the counselors were really good. They helped him and taught to him because he had a few, you know, breakdowns when it would rain. You know, we had to look at the weather every single night. He's doing good. Um, doesn't really talk about it anymore. Our house is coming along and things are starting to pick up a little bit and you get kind of excited about moving into a brand new house and everything. But in the school, you know, we're watching the school be built because it's right behind our house. So, I mean, we're just trying to make it one day at a time. The YMCA is a charitable organization and uh, we do give out a lot of um, assistance to those that need. Um, and it's not just the gym and swim. We do that and we do that very well. But when there's a need in the community, the Y is an integral agency that can bring people together to make a difference. Mm -hmm.